Hello and welcome to Ala Mode by Adrian. Everybody. Hi, Lily. How are you? It is Monday, and I am doing a show at um, a very different time because I realized I'm going to a conference tomorrow in Hotlanta. And hi, Debbie. So I was like, oh my gosh, I did not reschedule my auction. Why don't I just go live for an hour on Monday? And here I am. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining. Got a bunch of really fun stuff tonight. Um, and hi, Iris. And yeah, it's a regular auction. We go in $5 increments here. And we all should register if you want to bid. Text to connect at that number. I need your email address, the country where you live, and your um, YouTube name. So please send that if you haven't already. I've got lots of new subscribers, which is super exciting. Um, so the channel is growing. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube, please do so. It helps the channel, and um, it also helps you to see the content that you're interested in seeing. Hi, Pre. Hi, Annette. So, um, so yeah, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the chat. Uh, definitely feel very comfortable here chatting with other folks. Um, you do not need to buy anything to be here and enjoy yourself. It's really just for fun. This is for those of you who don't know me because there are a lot of new people. This is a part-time gig for me. I own a PR agency. And so that's how I spend my days. And this is how I have my fun. How I have my fun. Hi, Tammy. So let's get into it. I always start a little bit more like moderately priced because I want everyone to participate. Um, and I've got a huge range of genres and types of things today. So um, let's get into it. Um, starting with this cutesy brooch for all the brooch lovers. This is a JJ. Hi, Tapoid. And it just needs a little Windex over there. But look how cute this bear is. He's looking in the mirror at himself. Could you ever? Oh. So I'm starting that at $15. Starting bid 15 for all the brooch and critter collectors. And that is marked and it's a JJ silver tone. And this is two inches by an inch and a half. Hi, Amber. And that is starting bid 15. Can you see he's actually looking at his reflection? I think that's so sweet. JJ, it is marked in silver tone. So that's my first item. And here he is against the pink. And there he is peeking at you guys. Hi. <laughs> I used to have a teddy bear named Teddy Tonsil because I got him when I had my tonsils out. And I carried him around everywhere. All right. I move very fast. For those of you who have not um, worked with me before, purchased or been here, I go lightning fast because I like to show a lot of jewelry. If you're seeing this after hours and we're not live, um, feel free to send me a text down there and let me know if you liked an item that didn't sell. And I'll be more than happy to sell it to you for the starting bid price. All right, I have a couple of brooches to start with. This is stunning. This is Sarah Coventry, and this is a brooch 
pendant. Um, it is awesome because you can wear that on pearls or something else or turquoise, but also look awesome. It's a great size. This is starting bid 30. It is three inches by two and a half. And that is starting bid 30. And I love the fact that you can hook it onto anything. So I'm gonna just put it on this for right now, even though it's not very matchy matchy, but just so you see. Actually, it doesn't work on that, it's too thick. Let me get this. Starting bid 30 on the Sarah Coventry. And I need to put the pin back in. Okay. So let me pull this tighter so you can see. This is not the ideal place to wear it, but you just hook it right on. And let me, let me show you how this will look with tighter strands here. Starting bid 30, and that is Sarah Coventry. Of course, it's a brooch too, so you can put it in anything, including a twerk. In fact, here's this very cool twerk I'm bringing later. That's Desert Rose Trading. And you can just see that would look amazing. Starting bid 30, it is gold tone. I'm putting it on this Desert Rose Trading Torque so you can see it. But that's very cool. Sarah Coventry. All right. We're not in a brooch mode. I'm moving on. Let's do... Um, let's do this set. This is... This I know is Monet and the ticket has fallen off. Those of you who love Monet know this is the Monet double link. And it just does not have the hang tag. When you know, you know, as they say, and this is the complete set. So you've got the necklace and the earrings. And I am starting that at $45, starting bid 45 for the double link Monet. That's how the earrings look. The earrings are an inch and a half. And the necklace is, let's see. The necklace is 18 and a half with a two inch extender. I got a lot of compliments on the uh, mix and match show, the combination show that I did last week. So thank you all so much for that. That is a $45 starting bid for Vintage Monet. All right, move on. Um, this is outstanding. Let's see this. For those of you who are collectors, this is Vintage Trafari. It is from their Aztec Mayan collection. This is a rare piece. It's a fold over clasp. And this is, it's a smaller size. I'm a six and three quarters. And that's pretty much what it is. Six and three quarters. Gorgeous colors on this. And this is starting bid 150, starting bid. 150 for this rare Trafari piece.
from the Aztec mine collection. Um, they did, you know, some rarer collections and like the Cuneo or um, the Renaissance. And this is kind of like that $150 starting bid. And it's awesome. Now, if you're a collector and you don't have a piece from the collection, it's so cool. And that's how I feel about my Renaissance pieces. It's like you can check the box that you've got something a little more rare. All right. All right. So far, Monday is not my lucky night. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, let's do, let's do this piece. This is rose quartz and pearl, and it's obviously artisan made, and it is a toggle clasp. Oops. You've got this beautiful sterling rose in the center. And it's on rose quartz. It's very, very kind of a romantic piece. And these are sterling beads and genuine pearl. And then the toggle clasp. And that is starting bid 75. And let me measure this. It's a very sweet piece. We'll do. I'm also going to have a show on Thursday. This is 16 inches. I will also do a Thursday show when I get back from Atlanta. It is not signed, but it's very clearly artisan made. And that is $75 starting bid. Iris is in at 75. Thank you, Iris. That's the back. I polished it a little, but it does have some patina on it. So you might wanna polish it again. Going once to Iris at 75. We are going twice to Iris. And we are sold. Thank you, Iris. Okay. Next up, this is 1928. It's a very sweet little brooch. I'm starting this at $20. Faux pearl with very pretty pink crystals. And that is starting bid 20. Thank you. a nice size too. This is um, two and a quarter by an inch and a half. Starting bid 20. There's the back. Nineteen twenty eight. Iris Pre wants to know how you're doing and if you recovered any of your pieces. And I do know the answer to that. I do believe that she did find some things, right, Iris? This is stunning cloisonne. Hi, Deborah. And the clasp 
is Mark Silver. And this is 26 inches. Show it to you on the neck. Really beautiful. And that is starting bid 85. Iris said, yeah, except for some of my turquoise pieces and some silver pieces. I hope I misplaced them. Well, that would be great. Pre is in for 85. Looking for 90. I was just looking at these pearls. These would look so pretty with it too. Looking for 90. Sometimes I just sit here and I realize like what I have next to me. And I think that would go really, really well. These are green pearls. Bring those later. Going once to pre for 85. Going twice. And we are sold to pre at 85. Thank you so much. Pre. Okay. There we go. Congrats. All right, these are pearls in two different colors. The green ones that I just showed you and like a beautiful burgundy. There was a silver necklace I purchased for Beatrice and one for my favorite amber stone. Oh, you'll find them. If nothing else is gone, I feel like I feel like it, they weren't stolen, right? These are beautiful wine color. And that's on sterling. This is 18 inches. And then these, I'm going to do this for choice. And then these are like a, a pea green. And look how nice this clasp is. Sterling silver. It's one of those, you know, you pull it out. I don't know what this clasp is called. But that's a triple strand, and this is a double strand, but you can see it's clustered like that. And I'm going to do this for choice, starting bid 60. Starting bid 60 for choice. They're wonderful colors, the light green and the wine. Starting bid 60 for choice. They're both on Sterling Findings. Oh, no, Iris. Okay, so she does have stuff missing. You just found more than you thought. I actually like the green ones kind of layered on top. Starting bid 60 for choice. Starting bid 60. And here they are again, separate. There's the wine color. And then the light green. All right, that's a pass. Pass on that. Let's do This is really cool. You guys probably saw this in one of my hauls, this modernist brass. Well, it's like a brassy gold. Hi mom. They took a leather hope chest. Oh my God. What the heck? Well, at least you found some things. 
Thank goodness. Look at this cool modernist piece. Lobster clasp. This is 16 inches with a one and a half inch extender. And I'm gonna start that at 30. It's like a pendulum. Starting bid 30 on that. Very cool piece. Starting bid 30. Tammy is in for 30, looking for 35. Do you guys remember these? These twista beads? I found the coolest clasp, actually clasps. I have two clasps with this clamshell in gold and silver. Mom, do you remember those? Going once to Tammy. Going twice to Tammy. And we are sold to Tammy at 30. Thank you so much. It's a very cool piece. Yay! Really neat. Never saw anything like that one. Okay. Um, here's a sweet piece. This is silver tone. Look how pretty this little crystal butterfly is. And this is eight and a half inches. And I will start that at, let's start this at 15. Starting bid 15, that's eight and a half inches, silver tone. And look how beautiful the butterfly is. No, it doesn't have a pearl, Mom. It's, um, no, that's a different, that's a different thing. This I found, these are um, shorteners. Starting bid 15 on the pretty crystal butterfly. And that is an eight and a half. Sweet little charm. I actually love that clam that I found with the pearl in it. It's awesome. Okay. We're going to pass on that. This is beautiful amethyst. These are not real pearls. These are faux pearls. Toggle clasp. And the amethysts are teardrops, faceted teardrops. Very, very sparkly. And I'm going to start that at $70. Starting bid, $70. And because they're faceted, there's such sparkle to this. You see how the facets really make that sing? Toggle clasp. Starting bid 70. I love amethyst. Just such a pretty stone. I had two different ones with my beads. You have, yes, I have, I have yours. I would never sell yours. Um, these are different. This is a triple strand of amethyst, faceted teardrops, briolettes. Um, we can do this. These are two shorteners.
I don't think these are marked. Let me look at this for one second because I didn't check the marking. No, they're not marked. So one is silver, one is gold. And you guys know, I mean, there's so many things you can do with these guys. So I'm going to do these for choice. And I will start that at $30 for choice. Silver or gold. These are awesome. They're very cool and stylish, I think. They're not just the plain ones. Starting bid 30 for the clam shell shorteners. Mom, I don't have a turquoise and coral ring. I have your turquoise bracelet. Starting bid 30 for the shorteners. They're a nice size too. So I'll show you on the beads again. I should have brought this to my combo show. Because you can do all kinds of stuff with this. These are the twist beads. Um, and here we go. This is how it looks on. I like to wear it on the side when I do stuff like that. All right, that's a pass. Now let's do this crazy brooch. This is amazing. Look at this thing. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to put that on here. This is a bigger one. I'm going to start this at 20. This is three and a quarter inches. And that is a $20 starting bid. It's marked, but I can't read it. Whoops, I didn't secure the brooch. $20, we'll get that one started. A lot of fire in that. Starting bid 20 on the brooch. It's a huge flower sitting on a leaf. Starting bid 20. Very hot fuchsia pink on silver tone. $20, we'll get that one started. Verna's in for 20. Looking for 25. Going once to Verna. We are going twice. And we are sold to Verna. Thanks, Verna. I hope you love it. Okay. Next up, this is outstanding. I love this piece. No maker's mark on this. Silver tone. It's a very cool 1960s. 
Spring ring clasp. And I will start that starting bid at 45. And that is a gorgeous unmarked beauty starting bid 45. I gotta show this to you on. This is my Simon C bag ridiculousness. I love that piece. That is for sale. I can't remember the price on it. Um, and this is the way this looks on. Oh, it does look like an orchid. You're right. Look how gorgeous that is on. Actually, let me take this jacket off so you can really look at it. The older I get, the more it hurts when I move certain ways. It's like pathetic. That's what it looks like on. Pre is in for 45. It's really stunning. And this is, I think this is 18 inches. It's always hard to measure these guys. Um, hi, Karen. Hi, Patty. Hi, everyone who's joined. This is 17 inches. Going once to pre. Going twice. And we are sold to pre at 45. I feel like I own some Alexis Kirk. I have to look, sold. Mom, I think I got it from you, the Alexis Kirk stuff. Is that right? I think so. All righty. It's a pretty turquoise piece. And it's done in like those dog bone shapes. It is a knockout. And I believe this is amber. Hold on a minute. Yeah. That little centerpiece is amber. The, and then the others are beads. The others are um, little sea beads. So that's a little piece of amber, turquoise. And this is dog bone shaped turquoise. And this is... I don't think this one was marked. No. This is 16 inches. And I will do that one. Let's do starting bid 30. Starting bid 30 on the turquoise. Yes, you're right, Mom. It's very pretty. It's a great stacking piece. Like here it is with carnelian. Look how awesome it looks with this, which is coming up next. I'm doing a carnelian choice. I like turquoise with orange. So that's a pass, pass on that. And now I'm gonna do a carnelian choice. This is, they're both on sterling. And I don't know what this is carved out of, but it's a very pretty 
pendant. It's a stone with floral carvings. And this is carnelian with turquoise and sterling. And this is carnelian. And it's a perfect stackable. These need to stretch out just a little bit. And I'm going to do that for choice. Starting bid 35 for choice on the carnelian. Oh, that's how the turquoise looks on top of it. It's kind of cool. Starting bid 35 for choice on the carnelian. Now, the carnelian is... Let's see. Carnelian is 18 inches with a baby lobster clasp. The pendant is two inches. And the other is, and you've got some room. There's, there is a little extender. Um, the triple strand carnelian is 16 inches with a two inch extender. And that is $35 choice. And I am stacking all of these. Kind of like that together. All right. Oh. Okay. Someone's texting me. Sorry about that. Okay. This is so pretty. This is one of Mark's favorite finds. And this is a beautiful pendant necklace, matte gold. Very long chain. Always good to have that. And that is, let's see what size this is. 34, 34 inches on the chain. And I will start that at 30, starting bid 30 for the heart necklace, starting bid 30. Great layering piece. Starting bid 30 on that. And honestly, you can layer anything on top of that. And it's so beautiful. Even colored stone. Tammy is in for 30. Looking for 35. I mean, just anything looks so good with this. Looking for 35 on the heart pendant necklace. We are going once to Tammy. Going twice. And we are sold. Thank you. All right. All right, next up, an incredible torque necklace from Desert Rose Trading. And it looks great by itself, as you saw earlier. You can also put a pendant. I did not sell it yet. The amethyst has um, faceted briolettes. And that was starting bid 70.
And this is 16 inches. Yeah, the heart's amazing. Amazing. All right, Desert Rose Trading. Now, this is attached. You can't put a pendant through it, but you can attach a pendant here, you know, with like a, a hook, like I showed you earlier. If it's got a hook like that. Um, or if it's a brooch. Um, the length on the amethyst is 17 and a half. So let me know if you are interested. This is a fantastic piece to have in the collection. Desert Rose Trading. Very easy to wear too. Oh, I don't know, Deborah. I'm I'm not the best person to ask. It's a toggle clasp, so I guess you could attach it from the link here and the other part of the um, toggle. All right, so Desert Rose Trading Collar Necklace. I am starting that. Starting bid at 85. And here's how that looks on. It's a great piece. Starting bid 85. Obviously, sterling silver. Desert Rose Trading makes amazing pieces. And that is 85. I love the line of that. Very feminine. Yeah, the amethyst is very special. Starting bid 70 on the briolettes. All right, looks like this is a pass. Again, guys, I go really fast. I have a lot of people lately writing me at night, the night of the auction. Um, and I encourage you to do that if you miss the auction because I... I think um, I'm very fair about offering the starting bid price. Needs to be longer. Yeah, no, I understand. I'll show you how it looks on me, but it is definitely a shorter piece. Um, here's where it sits on me. All right. This is um, Renoir. I took this out and showed my intern, and she was like, oh, those things are huge right now. I said, really? She's, she said, yeah, these pendant necklaces that look like this are like all popular with people my age. Okay. 20, I think she's 23, 24 inches. This is why I follow TikTok. 24 inches on that. It is a gorgeous pendant. And I'm going to do that starting bid 50. You can always add a brooch to the amethyst. Oh, for sure. Starting bid 50 on the Renoir. It's in gorgeous condition. Copper. Oh, you have one and you love it? Yeah, it's really fun, huh? Such great, like, statement and size on this. The pendant is almost three inches. And the clasp, there is a hook clasp. Um, it goes over my head, but there is a hook for those of you who want one, need one. Cool, very cool. And these are the Von Muselin. I still have not priced these. If you are interested in these, let me know. These are Lucite. 
Um, okay. All right. Next. This is outstanding. Some of you saw this. And it is an artisan piece. Um, sterling silver. On one side is malachite. Look at those beads too. I think these are all handmade. And then you flip it and this is lapis. Hopefully you can see that it's blue. It's looking very, very dark in the shot. That is just so cool. It's made in Mexico, 925, and I am starting this, starting bid 300 on this one. It is, I'll tell you how much it weighs, and also how long it is. Starting bid 300. I will, Mom. I got it. And this is all in light, even the lock. And this is fifteen and a half inches. And let's do a weight on this one. That is 41 grams of sterling. And look at how this is on. It's just exquisite the way this is made. Graduated pendants, handmade beads. And look at that malachite inlay. Starting bid, 300. It's, it's spectacular. Really spectacular. All right, that's a pass. Um, I'm gonna show this to you, but I need to wear it first, but I'm just gonna do a little show and tell. I'm like in love with this piece. I'll bring it back, but I have to show it to you. I may have to bring this to the conference. I'm so excited to get all dressed up for the conference. You have no idea. Look at this Anne Klein piece. Mm, look at it. Look at this collar necklace. Is that beautiful? I'll bring it back, but I need to wear it first. I think this is so, so cool. You know me. I love my 1980s gold. So, so pretty. I need to put that on the side to bring to the event. I'm so excited to dress up. What else do I have for you guys? All right, this is a great brooch. This is an amazing brooch. Um, this is Crown Trafari. I love the shape of this because it hugs the strands. And I will start this at 30. Look how that hugs the strands when you wear it with pearls or something else. That is Crown Trafari starting bid 30. You can wear it like this too. I feel like I would wear it like that here. And then I'd wear it on the side to hug the pearls. And that's in a matte and shiny gold. 
Crown Trafari starting bid 30 on that beauty. Right? Doesn't it look really nice the way it kind of goes over the curve of the stones? Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> it's true. Don't make me sing. I know, does it, Deborah? I love it. All right. This is vintage with tags. This is, um, has a vintage tag on that says made in Czechoslovakia. So this is Czech glass. So cool. Love when I find that. Spring ring clasp made in Czechoslovakia. Let me look at this clasp for a second. Sometimes you find these like gold clasps too. It's not though. And this is 16 inches. And I will start that piece at, let's start that at 35. Check glass. It's got that gold foil in black. And I feel like, I mean, it's such a great layering piece. I'm going to show you with the black, um, my glass beads. which is what I would wear them with. I would wear this as my bottom layer just to bring some gold into the mix. You see how that just makes it look a little more flashy and it really brings that gold into it. So if you're gonna put on another layer of like Swarovski crystals or something, the gold stands out. It's a, whoop, it's a nice starting layer. Are the black glass? I don't know yet, Pre. Let me let me think about it. I have to see if I have another strand, and I think I do. But let me make sure because I did sell a bunch. So I will come back to you on it. They are gorgeous. I just want to make sure I have a set for myself because I do love them. Um, okay, okay, okay. Now, maybe I'll do, of course. Um, this is pretty. This is sterling. Electroform, and it is a size size six. Huge rosebud, and I will start that one at forty five dollars. Starting bid forty five, size six. Huge rose. Starting bid, 45. Pretty ring. It does, Iris. Let me show you. It's not an exact match. It's not exact, but it's um, it's nice together. It's really cool.
Let me know. It's a size six, Iris. Okay. All right. I feel like we have to call that quickly for Iris. Going once, going twice, sold. She's got to have this set, guys, right? Yeah, I mean, the necklace is here and this is here, so it looks like a set. Because you're not going like that, right? That's awesome. Okay. And let's do one more piece, and then I've got to pack and get ready for the conference. Um... Let's see what I want to bring to the party. Let's bring this cool snake ring. And this is a size seven and a half. And I will start that. Let's start that at 30. Starting bid 30 for the snake ring. Sterling silver. And then I'm going to go get ready. Oh, there, I forgot about this fun thing. I'll do this too. Starting bid 30 for this sterling snake. Yeah, pre go watch the auction from Friday. If you um if you see anything, you let me know. You know I'm always fair about the starting bid price. Um okay. And then this is just fun. This is a mood ring. I want to see it change colors though. I don't see it changing color. Good, you were out to dinner and drinks? Oh, Tammy's in for 30, it's a seven and a half. Tammy's in at 30, looking for 35. Yeah, I went, I, I sometimes change the nights, you know, based on my schedule. It's been like really challenging with the other, with the other darn day job. And then someone had asked me um, for an aquamarine Please text me. That's aquamarine and 14 karat gold. I just found that. Going once to Tammy. Going twice. And we are sold to Tammy at 30. Oh, I heard the Barbie movie was amazing. Someone told me they took their husband and he loved it. How was it, Pre? Sold to Tammy. I heard it's absolutely fantastic. You really liked it? Did you dress up in pink? Amy wants to know. I would dress up in pink for sure. I bet the girls did. Did your daughter dress in pink? All right, putting everything away. All right, guys, I will see you on Thursday night. All right?
Um, and I will catch up with you then. Thanks for joining. Sorry for the last minute switcheroo tonight, but you know, why not? I'm here. Um, you have a Barbie t-shirt. That's too cute, Bree. Oh my God. All right, guys. Love you. I'll see you soon. Bye. She wore a Ritzy Black. <laughs> it's funny. All right. See you Thursday. Bye guys.